Hey family. Happy Vlogmas Day 12, y'all. Mommy. Oh, my kids getting on my nerves this morning. They are harassing me. Today is Sunday. We're in real time, y'all. They are harassing me about electronics because Typically, we have electronics on sun on weekends. I let them have their electronics, but y'all, me and where were we? Where did I go? I went to California, so while I was out of town, of course, Lonnie let them play all that week. So they have been overdosing on electronics, and I can literally tell in their personalities. And so I'm kind of like over, who got bright real quick y'all. I'm kind of over the whole electronic thing. Like it's literally working my nerves. So I'm trying to decide how I want to handle this moving forward. Um, of course we'll be in Alabama. Um, tomorrow and Tuesday so I'm gonna let them have electronics those days because my brother it just makes it easier for whoever's babysitting them but I think when I get back we will make some changes anyway y'all how are y'all that's my morning vent how are y'all doing how are y'all feeling how are y'all hanging in there y'all what do y'all do what do y'all do with electronics let me know tell me y'all schedule y'all plan how y'all handle it do y'all have electronics in y'all house because i've met quite a few people who don't let their kids go get on electronics at all i've met a few people like their kids they don't go on instagram or twitter or tiktok or anything and so i always find that interesting because for me it's like how do you do that you know in 2020 well 2021 how have you made it this far without your kids having access to you know electronics so i would love to hear like what do you guys do and i on the flip side i meet some parents that are like they play what they want to play like they don't they don't govern it at all and i'm like well how do you know that they're not like overdosing on the situation so just trying to find that balance in a world of technology. Hey, Trice had your butt. <laughs> I bet he did. Trice is. That's because I moved that desk. And now he is. Out of control. That added. Harris, what does the work do that? Get into stuff. Y'all, my lovely butt. Did y'all see my um, birthday haul? If not, this is. One of the things that the kids got me for um, my birthday, and I love it. Don't tell her. Don't tell her. What's her name? We go put it back up. So anyway, yeah. <laughs> Let me know how y'all handle electronics. So today, you guys, I am taking major shopping. This is dark everywhere. I get into the hallway and it gets really dark. I'm taking Major to do his Christmas shopping. And then I'm going to do um, cinnamon ornaments. So because the 12 days of Christmas, the countdown to Christmas starts tomorrow, which is the 13th. So we'll have 12 days to Christmas. So typically what we would have done um, if you have not been with us for Vlogmas is we would have gotten our Christmas tree. Then we would have done our stockings and then we would have done our ornaments. So we do those like during the countdown to 12 days to Christmas. But because we will be in Alabama on Monday and Tuesday, I needed to do those two things sooner so that I would still stay on track for when we got back from Alabama so we would still be in our 12 days so we already got our real tree um and then 
Yesterday we decorated our stockings. I'm gonna show you guys our finished product. And then today we'll make our ornaments. So, let me show y'all their stockings. Y'all, so here they are. So here's Jaden. So I need to take a picture. That's so good. Oh my gosh. That looks so cute. And then this is Bradley's. He's getting so better. Every year his gets better and better and better. And then there's Sydney's. So cute. I love the butterfly, y'all. I love the butterfly. Oh, look at the little flower. I mean, she put a bell at the end of her name. So cute. This is, can you stop smacking, please? Harper's. She got like a little Santa. Y'all see the Santa? And the Christmas tree, a present. Cute. And then Major. Y'all, I love. Look at this. Look how he did the bell outline. His little house and Christmas tree. And then we got Harris. Who just went all out and covered up his whole entire stocking. Then put his name right here. Looks so good. And Charlie, she has little eyes <laughs> on her person. And then she has her little bell design and three little different stars, a snowman. Oh, I didn't even see that up there. So cute. And then I let Eleven and Trice pretty much work on theirs as much as they could. So this is Eleven's creation. He literally did all this by himself. He said he was making a monster, so there it is that's his monster and then trice trice was really trying he really had the little decorations and was really trying to do his stuff so and this little stocking y'all we put this up every year this is for jb jr who we lost in 2010 um, so yeah that's his little stocking so anyway this guy was not in the best of moods yesterday so he still needs to do his stocking and finish it, which he started. Y'all, this is what they do. See, they do stuff like this when they don't have electronics, which is so creative, so cool. But I'm like, hey, y'all need to pause because we still have people that need to do stockings. But let me show y'all. So Phoenix started last night and we were making progress. So he wanted me to do him a Christmas tree, which I did. And he got mad because he said, that's not a Christmas tree. And I said, well, Phoenix, this is how I draw my Christmas trees. So you should have drew your own Christmas tree if you don't like the way I did it. So if he doesn't like it, I'm going to give him a new stocking. and He's going to make his own Christmas tree. So anyway, we got started. Like, am I going to make today? Yes, you have to make it today. So my brother still needs to make his, and Lonnie still needs to make his. I still need to make mine, and then whenever my oldest son come over, he'll make his. So yeah, so we did stockings, and they turned out so good, y'all. Um, so proud of them. So that's what we do. So today we'll do our ornaments, which I need to see if I kept my cookie cutters. I feel like I threw them away. So I need to check. If not, I'll get some while I'm out shopping with Major. And yeah, that is what we got going on today. That's our day. We're going to make ornaments. We're going to take Major shopping. Me and Lonnie are going to go pick up our rental car at 9. And that's what we're doing. All right. <laughs> so... You are not shopping for everybody. You're not buying everybody a gift. You're only buying certain I'm people thinking. a gift. So, so basically, you just kind of go. You're gonna start with the people you want to get a gift for, and then yes. if you have money left over. Yes. Okay. Gotcha. Gotcha. Good planned. And where do you want to go? Where do you want to go shopping at? I'm thinking about going to Black Below for Jaden's Cliffs, Jaden and Sydney's. Okay, so we're going to start at 5 Below? Yeah, then I'm going to see what's at Walmart. Okay, the door is um, open. 
This fall. Okay. When do you think you're going to, now that you've gotten your COVID vaccine, which you gotta go get your second shot, and then you'll be fully vaccinated, when do you think you'll stop wearing your mask? If ever. Do you plan on not wearing your stop wearing your mask or what tell me what your thoughts are on that? Um I'm thinking about wearing a mask like it when I fully vaccinated and everybody's saying COVID's gone, I'm going to wear my mask for two years just in case. So you're gonna continue to wear your mask for two years after back after COVID is gone. <laughs> Thank you, sir. The good thing is they have wheels. Yeah, pull it up. Pull it out. Then you pull it. It's a mini buggy. It's a mini buggy, exactly. All right. A laptop, Sydney. How big? Like this right here. This is a um, a laptop stand. Like when they're in the bed or at the desk, they can put their laptop on this. Oh, I can't get it off. See, so like this, so they're not slouching over. They're sitting up. So that's something if you wanted something for a laptop. There's this one is a light bar, a LED light bar. What's that? So it's a bar. So like you just set it under your TV and it lights the TV up. How much does this cost? Uh, that one, I think it's size. I think that one's five dollars. These light strips. I know what to do. Yeah. 
he said we needed to walk to Ollie's. <laughs> so we're walking, y'all. Who'd you get? Three people? You got Jade and Sydney. I got Jade and Sydney. Uh, Phoenix. What? So you got four. We got two more to go. Oh, excuse me. So we're going to the toys for Charlie? Yes. Well, this is exactly... Oh, who is this? Oh, he's from Frozen 2. Oh. Officially done with major. So you guys, one of the things I love about shopping with the kids is you really get to learn their personalities and how they shop, how they manage their money, and all of that. So we talked about the save, spend, give, and that's how what the kids have been doing all year. Anyway, I think he was close to 200. But what he did for his shopping is he literally took $60 out. So he had set a budget on how much he was going to spend for Christmas. And his budget was $60. So he took $60. He only brought $60 with him today. And then he had a list of his top people that he needed to buy gifts for. So he had his top, what was it, top six? Your top six, top five, right? The yeah. first. Wait. Jaden, Sydney, Charlie, 11, 11, Phoenix. And so six. So he had his top six people that he was going to buy a gift for. And then he said if he had money left, over after he bought his top six then he would move on <laughs> to his next group of people so then he had his top six then he had his top three then he had his bottom three <laughs> so that's, a, that's one of the reasons why i appreciate doing this because again it just really teaches you just how your kid and i think also their love language majors love language isn't gifts so he don't really care about getting gifts or receiving gifts giving gifts or receiving gifts his love language is quality time and physical touch right is that how you show love spending time with people and giving hugs and stuff like that yeah that's his love language so this whole christmas gift thing that ain't his he don't really like whatever <laughs> hey you didn't have your seatbelt on this whole time Ooh, <laughs> you about to be booted back to the back seat sir I didn't even notice y'all he didn't have his seatbelt on I'm just talking when you go wrap your gift um say tomorrow because we don't we really don't have anything to do tomorrow but track yeah i'm not gonna be here tomorrow though you're gonna be able to wrap them by yourself what time do you have to leave early i'll leave it early in the morning like we always do yeah. well, why you can't wrap them later today yeah, I'll wrap them here today. Maybe when we get home, I'll wrap them. Wait, do you have to leave when we get to the house? Yeah, we can do it at the house. Okay. It's been so long since I had a spray. It hasn't been that long. Well, we didn't have 
was here. We had Dr. Pepper. We had Sprite. No, no seven, seven up. up. We had Sprite and Seven Up is different. <laughs> we have Fanta Orange. I never I didn't try Fanta Orange. And then for Thanksgiving, then we have Sprite. We had like a million different types of soda for Thanksgiving. You know how long Thanksgiving was? It was two weeks ago. It was that wasn't that long ago. <laughs> two weeks is a long time to go without a Sprite. <laughs> oh my goodness you need to drink some water in that body i did drink water when because you've been drinking all those sodas from when uncle police been left did you try one of our waters in the glass bottle which glass bottle that's in the garage that me and daddy been drinking you didn't try it i didn't know did you like those Waterloo drinks I bought? That was like grape, cranberry. Yeah, I like those. But there's nothing like a Sprite. <laughs> you gotta have your Sprite, that's what you're saying? What was that? tree her van is that big yes my brother finished his stocking doesn't that look so good and phoenix finally finished his but i couldn't hear myself because of the music it looks so good so i'm gonna put these up so they can dry i got paint on my hands but yay so we'll let these dry and then we'll hang them up with the rest of the stockings. Okay, you guys. So I am making our cinnamon dough right now. And all you need to make these ornaments, if you haven't done it, is applesauce, cinnamon, and glue, which the glue is optional. It just kind of helps create more of like a bonding um, material. But I am doing three fourths cups of applesauce and about three to four ounces of cinnamon. And then I'm just kind of squirting this in, probably doing about maybe a tablespoon of this, but I'm just kind of eyeballing it in. So you basically just put all of these ingredients into a bowl and mix them up until it turns into a dome so I'll show you guys Yeah. Yeah. You guys got to fill all the sides up now. Well, why are you making? Mm. Let's see. Here. I might make a cut. Look. Okay. Now 
Now take these off. Okay. Trash, I can't take hold that off. Trash. 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 I don't know if this is helping to make the baby. No. Just put it right here. You know what I mean? Go for my famous question mark on me. Take down the air. You know my hands are dirty. Yeah. Pick up it, really? I'm going to do it. Okay, I got one stand. Wait, where did you get the stand? Oh, what is it? All right, you guys, that is it for the night. We are on our way to go get the car for tomorrow. And we are going to be ending our night. Look at this kid. He forever sitting here like he really doing some work on the computer. Tomorrow, you guys, I think a marriage talk is gonna go up. So I hope you guys enjoy that little talk slash challenge. And then I will see you guys again on Tuesday. I love y'all and see y'all tomorrow. Bye.